Good morning, welcome to my backgammon channel. Thanks for joining me. What better way to start a 20 second lesson than to lock a double two opening replies. Now, as I've mentioned in a previous video, 12 steps to improvement, it's really important to improve incrementally at backgammon and focus on small areas of change, perfect them, and then move on to other areas. Backgammon is an unruly beast. You cannot take it all on at once and hope to succeed. Focus on those small areas. So, there are only three main ways to play double two as an opening reply. And these are them listed below. You can make the 22 point and the four point. You can hit and make the four point and you can make the 11 point and the four point. Now there are two small exceptions to these three main rules and we will discuss those later, so stick around. Now this is the first main point. Make the 22 point and the four point. So when the opponent has made a new inner home board point and is threatening to prime you, you do not want to be stuck back on the 24 point. So it's better to step up. So this is true after your opponent makes the four point, makes the two point, or makes the five point. Now, if your opponent um, was to make the bar instead with a six one, then it's better to stay back on the 24 um, and that's because he hasn't unstacked his six point. Um, but in all other cases where he makes an inner board point, then you must step up and then make a new inner board point yourself. Here is another variation of the first rule where your opponent plays two down. Again, the green is threatening a prime structure here. He has several builders in the aid field and many numbers will make the five point, the four point and so on. So again, you do not want to be primed. So you must step up with those two back checkers. And you can see on the right that this is a correct response when green plays two down. Now the second rule is to hit if you have the opportunity and make the four point. So if the opponent plays an aggressive opening slot, then you must hit. And by making the four point, it just gives your opponent fewer entry numbers, as you can see on the right. So when your opponent slots with 2-1, 4-1, 5-1, and 6-2, it's better to hit and make the four point. Now, if your opponent makes a 4-1 slotting play, of course, there you have the option to hit twice, but that would be a blunder. It's much better to hit once and then strengthen your home board. Then you'll have options to pick up that second checker on a future roll. So this is the second roll. Now the third rule is you make the 11 point and the four point. So with all other opening responses, it is better to just make the 11 four point, you unstack two heavy points. Also making the 11 here blocks a point six away from the open five point and will allow you to make that five points next time with five extra rolls such as Double six, six three, and six one. Now let's look at the two small exceptions that I mentioned um, at the start of the presentation. So if your opponent um, splits with six four, it is best to hit and then send him back in the race. Um, hitting also has an advantage because you have better control of the outfield and then green may not anchor up and have three loose blots that you'll just be able to attack 
on future rolls and, and bring you closer to a good cube. Now, the second exception is what we call post Crawford. So if you have played the Crawford game and your opponent won that and now you are at post Crawford where your opponent can use a cube and you are only one point away from winning, you need to be careful that you do not get gammoned. So at most post Crawford scores, it is correct to make the 20 point if there is a threat of being primed. So as we saw before, if your opponent brings two checkers down from the mid, he is threatening a prime structure. And here, we do not want that to happen. By making the 20 point, it cancels out two of our opponent's game plans. He can no longer blitz us and he can no longer prime us. So the 20 point is called the golden point for a reason. It's a long-term asset, which we definitely need at post Crawford. And this is often the correct response to those opening rolls you can see on the right hand side. Now choosing the correct opening response at post Crawford and Crawford can be difficult and there are many variations to this. You can go on to XG and you can experiment with opening responses. But here you can see that after the opponent has run with 6-5 at Crawford on the left, it's better to make the 11 and the four point. But on the right at post Crawford, it's better to make the 20 point. But if we were to change the post Crawford score from three away, one away to two away, one away, then it would be correct to make the 11 and the four point. And that's because we have a free drop if things go badly. So on the position on the right at three away, one away, we have a free take at that score. So we really want the long-term assets so we don't get gammoned and lose the match. But at two away, one away, if things do turn out badly, then we can just use the free drop that we have. So at these scores, you can play around with some of the positions and see how you will need to adjust the opening reply depending on match score and gammon considerations. So just to recap, the rules are, rule one, always hit a checker if you can. If your opponent slots, hit it, send it back in the race. Backgammon is ultimately a racing game. Rule number two, if you can't hit and your opponent has made another home board point or brought two down and is threatening to prime you, make the 22 point and the four point. Do not get stuck back and have lower flexibility and be trapped behind a prime or a blitz. Rule number three, if neither of the above apply, make the 11 point and the four point. If you can't hit a checker, and if you're not being primed, then just go straight to rule three. So there we are, that's how you play double two opening replies. Like I said, small areas of change will yield big returns. Good luck in your backgammon game. See you next Wednesday, bye bye.